Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is... I don't know what the title of this is. It's kind of like what to expect from Nintendo regarding Zelda. Or something a bit more pithy than that. But anyways, the point of this video is there's been a lot of speculation out there as far as what we'll see uh, regarding Zelda at E3. A lot of people think that Zelda U will be announced. A lot of people say that Majora's Mask 3D is going to be announced. I decided to make a video to go for what I think, and this this is just personal opinion, uh, but personal opinion backed up by some experience uh, from paying attention to Nintendo's E3 presentations and time frames between games and whatnot. So I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. I do not think that Zelda U will be announced at E3 in the way that people are expecting it to be. I think it will be mentioned, uh, but I think it will be mentioned in passing, and it's not going to be, there's not going to be like a big trailer, or there's, first of all, there will not be demos of Zelda U at E3 for the media to play. There will not be a big trailer uh, aired on the Nintendo uh, digital experience or whatever it's called. Um, and whatnot. And the reason why I believe this is because of several factors. Factor number one, Hyrule Warriors. They cannot, with Hyrule Warriors coming out so soon, they cannot tell you about Zelda U, because then you will not care about Hyrule Warriors, you will not buy Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors will not sell. It's, it's simple marketing tactics. A company cannot tell you about their next product that's down the line when they're about to release the product that they're about to release because you won't care about the products they're about to release. And I think Nintendo is smart enough to know that Hyrule Warriors might be a snack, but it's not a full meal like Zelda U is going to be. So you might just skip that snack and wait for the full meal, and they don't want that. They want you to buy that snack. So. They are not going to give you a big meaty uh, Zelda U announcement because of Hyrule Warriors. Um, for instance, I mean, let's think back to let's think back to uh, to Wind Waker HD, right? If people were like, "Oh no, it's just a remake. We want something new," that would have been an opportune time for them to say, "Oh, by the way." We are working on Hyrule Warriors, which is a new Zelda game. They did not do that for the same reason. They they were already well into development with uh, Hyrule Warriors at that point, but they didn't want to tell you about it until after Wind Waker HD was released, because otherwise you wouldn't have cared about Wind Waker HD. Not as much, at least. Um, so there's that. Factor number two. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we're going to get an announcement for Majora's Mask 3D. And the reason why I feel that's the case is because Nintendo is well aware that there is uh, quite a group of fans out there who want Majora's Mask 3D, and not to mention that it would be financially stupid for them to not do Majora's Mask 3D. The only reason why they did Majora's Mask in the first place is because all they had to do was take that exact same engine from Ocarina of Time, those exact same graphics with tiny tweaks, and tiny tweaks to the engine, but not much. They just had to take a pre-existing game, fiddle around with it a little bit, and voila, a brand new game. Same thing with Majora's Mask 3D. They, they don't have to spend years in development for it. It's already existent in a beta stage, also known as Ocarina of Time 3D, so they just have to take that stuff and then they've got Majora's Mask 3D. I'm... I'm going out on a limb here and saying that I'm pretty sure Majora's Mask 3D has been completed and waiting for release since way before A Link Between Worlds was released, and that they're waiting for like a year after A Link Between Worlds, so that way A Link Between Worlds has its space to sell uh, as much as it can before the market is overcrowded by Majora's Mask 3D. So if Majora's Mask 3D is going to be announced, uh, at E3, and uh, in case you did not know, Nintendo is going to have two uh, little Q&A sessions that are not televised, that are not uh, that are not shown to the public. These are just select number members of the media sit down in this little room with Nintendo and Nintendo, 
It's like, oh, by the way, here's this thing that we're working on that we're not yet ready to show the masses. That is how, uh, that's how Skyward Sword was first announced. Before we knew anything about Skyward Sword at all, they had a, one of those things for, uh, for Ocarina of Time 3D, and they were, Miyamoto was like, here's a piece of art from this uh, next Zelda game coming out for the Wii. And, wait, was it for Ocarina of Time 3D? I think it was for a different game, like Phantom Hourglass or something. Anyways, the point is, uh, or Spirit Tricks, I think. But the point is, um, <clears throat> they will not tell us what this thing is going to be. They've got one for Smash Bros. They've got a second one for an as-yet-unannounced 3DS game. It's gotta be Majora's Mask 3D. That I guess there could be some speculation out there is that it could be a Metroid 3DS game, and that's decently plausible, but I feel like it's just much more likely that it is Majora's Mask 3D. And this all ties together, uh, so I feel like during this Q&A about Majora's Mask 3D, that is the opportune time for Mr. Ijeonuma to say, here is a piece of art from Zelda U. Uh, and you'll notice that's something interesting about the arts that will be a big piece of what Zelda U will be about, and then that's it. And we regular people will get only leaked this image, it's only those people in that room that get to see that image, which is what happened with Skyward Sword. That image was just meant to be seen by the media who were in that room at that time, and uh, then it got leaked because some people took pictures that weren't supposed to, and, and what have you. I think the same thing is going to happen uh, this time with Zelda U. That's going to be the extent of it. So they're not going to show a big, huge thing about it. They're probably not even going to mention it. They might mention it in the digital experience in this kind of way, where they're saying something like, uh, you know, Hyrule Warriors, blah, 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 blah. And then some of you might be wondering about the next big Zelda game uh, for the Wii U. We can't talk about it very much yet, we're still working on it. Uh, so please enjoy Hyrule Warriors, and we'll talk more about that in the future. That's... I, I bet you so hard that that's what is going to happen at uh, E3, as far as Zelda U is going to be announced. So, it's going to be announced in the same way that it's already been announced. They're just going to say, we're working on it, it's going to take some time, Check back in with us later. So, um, and then maybe at that Q&A developers conference thing, they might show the media uh, a piece of art, or maybe instead of a piece of art, they might talk about it a little bit, say, you know, these are the kinds of things we're planning to use the gamepad for with it, or what have you, but no big trailer, or whatever. Again, that's just my personal opinion, but it's pretty logical, I think. Uh, so yeah, I guess what it comes down to is we will get tons of stuff about Harbor Warriors, of course. We'll get uh, a secret announcement of Majora's Mask 3D at that conference, that Q&A conference. And in that Q&A conference, we might get some tiny tidbit about Zelda U. But that's it. So uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because it seems to me like so many people out there are 100% certain Nintendo is announcing Zelda U, and there'll be this big trailer, and, and we'll get all this information, and that is not going to happen, guys. <laughs> and uh, and and what I guess I guess my main issue with uh, that is I don't want people's hopes to get up and then get squashed. And the quote that people keep pulling out is, and it's not even a quote. People just keep saying, "Well, Nintendo has themselves said many times." that they will show us Zelda U at E3. That's not the quote. <laughs> the quote is, there's one quote from E.G. Anuma where, um, I think it was Polygon or Smash, some, some magazine was interviewing him and said, okay, but can we talk about Zelda U? And Mr. E.G. Anuma says, I'll talk more about Zelda U at E3. And that's all he said. He did not promise that they were showing anything. He didn't promise anything. All he said is that he'll talk, he'll say more about, I think are the exact words, as translated from Japanese into English, so who knows? But the point is, he didn't say that we're going to announce it, that we're not going to show anything about it, reveal anything about it. All he said is that he'll say more about it 
which to me means due to the way he phrases things in the past and what ends up coming to fruition, all that that means is that he's going to probably say, we're working on it, we'll tell you more about it later. So, again, just my personal opinion, but um, don't get your hopes up. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Let's Ramble About My Personal Opinions About Nintendo, uh, whether or not they're revealing Zelda U or not. That's a long title. See you guys tomorrow for some Zelda news and Nintendo news. Bye, guys.